What's up everyone? It's Taylor from Coast Juice. You just saw me and two small children ride Hurricane, the newest roller coaster at Fun Spot Kissimmee. I'm here with Scott, who was kind enough to film that for me, who still has not ridden the coaster. Yeah, and it was really hilarious to watch you watch because everybody's like this tall and then you're this <laughs> tall. It looked so awkward. Yeah, it was that was uh, ten dollars to ride that, but I just wanted to uh, do a quick vlog to show you one for the fact that hey, we're in Florida. Uh, I was just here in November for IAPA and decided to come back for the weekend to do some stuff. So you'll be able to see a vlog coming soon from Bush Gardens, Tampa, and also. Uh, fun spot America in Orlando so I just want to do a quick walk around show you the area surrounding this news roller coaster because actually this ride is located in a section of the park that I didn't even know about like it's kind of hidden you know what I mean have a crazy couch no yeah they have a crazy couch I, I I've never seen one before this is the first time I've seen one in Where person. Is. This is kind of in the Old Town section of the park, which, for reference, for those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about, do you see the white structure, like, way over there? Still, that's Mind Blower. We did ride that earlier. Um, it was it was running pretty good, got a front row ride. And here you can see the coaster going, so I'll let you see it once again from an off-ride point of view. But uh, it, it's kind of cute because they have a bunch of shops over here. There's actually a road that separates this side of the park from the other side, so you do have to cross in uh, to go to that other side. But it's a pretty straightforward area. I mean, if you've been to these parks, they're not that big. Uh, just a bunch of rides located in a pretty small area. And as you can see, I mean, a bunch of these rides aren't even open. We're here on a Friday afternoon, and yeah, not very busy. There's, oh, it's the same two kids. The same two kids are back. They went again for a second ride. I feel bad for those parents' wallets. There's another $20 out the window. Uh, you know, it was decent. Um, it's, a, it's a decent little, little roller coaster. I was surprised how like small that turn is right there, because you go up at a pretty decent speed, and then you just whip in there. So, I mean, in that regard, I was impressed at how much ride they're actually able to fit into a small amount of space. I mean, this ride is relocated from uh, Wild Adventures in Georgia. I've never been to that park, so this was a brand new coaster for me. I'd never ridden it uh, when it was at that location. And uh, you know, it's, it's a decent little ride. It's, it's nothing special. I mean, it's fine for fun spot I think it does what uh, it manages to achieve and gives them a, another decent sized roller coaster so yeah if you're in the Orlando section you're looking to pick up another coaster credit this is uh, the next one you'll want to do so yeah beautiful afternoon here in Orlando it's nice to be wearing shorts again because uh, where I was literally yesterday it was freezing so it's it's definitely nice to get back in some warm weather even though this is kind of considered cold for Florida it's like 60 degrees but uh, hey I don't mind so yeah that's just going to be a quick rock around show you uh, Hurricane the brand new roller coaster here at Fun Spot. Scott when are you going to ride this thing? When I can film it. When you film it? Okay. When I film it, yeah. That's fair. I'm cheap. Yeah. <laughs> I need to get my was, new season pass anyway, I, so I'll buy a pass first, then I'll ride it, then I'll film it. That's fair. I mean, this was was ten dollars uh, out of my wallet to do this thing. That's was it worth it? Credit, yeah, it, it was expensive. Yeah, high, high milers are awesome, though, man. The little pops of air time. Yeah, they're so violent. It's. I, I would have paid ten bucks to ride it. That is completely yeah. fair. I I personally don't know if I would pay ten dollars again to ride it. I'm leaning towards probably not, especially when it is the same amount to go ride Mind Blower, and yeah, I'd rather do that. Worth every penny of ten dollars. Yes, yeah. yes, that I will it's agree one of the best with. Roller coasters in Florida. Hundred percent. It was nice to be able to go ride this thing. Don't know if. I would do it again but it is it's definitely a it packs in quite a punch for what it does so that's gonna do it for this video hope you enjoyed it make sure you stay tuned for more here at coaster studios from this fun uh weekend florida trip i'll see you in the next one